Now there's going to be wind, but I can't help the wind. Uh, I can't now. I'm up on a mountain. That those mills were the mills uh, of Picon. Now we're going to go down. There were 21. Now we're going to go down the mills of Folon, and there are 36 of them. Uh, but I thought I'd go out here on this cliff and take a look. That's a that's a oh what do you call it a uh, sunken road. That must have been original, I would say, from a lot of traffic or or dug. But it's narrow, and and I'm, I'm walking a little faster because I want you to see this actually. For where Chaussé has his mill something a little bit similar in the width for access to the mill. Well, look who just came to visit me, quietly and politely from behind. Ah. Glad he came to meet me before I was out here on the edge of this cliff. There's the Atlantic Ocean. On top of that hill is the fort, the uh, prehistoric fort. Uh, I think it's Celtic, I'm not sure. Down there are the mills of Falon. Sorry about the wind. There goes my friend. Oh, that's not very graceful. And there's the road to uh, Portugal. There goes my friend. Fun. came back. It seems to be pretty well taken care of. I just wonder where his owners are. <laughs> I lost count. The mill's going down there. Notice the stones on those tiles. It must be particularly windy right in that right, right in that spot. like my dog at home. He paid me. Yeah. This might be too dark to be able to see, but but this, uh, I, I guess this would be the floor of the millstone, and maybe that's where the axle would come up through. I'm not sure about that. Oh, here's a millstone. My foot was just on. I can get some idea what size the millstones were. Unlike Picon, that was uh, uh, mowed recently, which was very nice. This is cattle. This is cow pasture. In Switzerland, this would be called an alp. Well, maybe here too. This is an alp. Uh, I had wondered. I'd thought maybe sheep, but you could tell by the droppings. Well, here's some. That, that uh, this is cow pasture now. This is inside. Uh, this is inside a, uh, a mill that's been a little bit better restored. I guess that's maybe the stone, the sleeping stone, with the runner missing. Poor Shirley's afraid of heights. That doesn't help here. Not too bad. Not too bad. He doesn't like them. Another supply of water. There's a name over that mill. There's another one of those markers. This is in Coulon now. We're going down. Every mill has a marker. There's falling water in Galicia doing work.
collaborative work between the community of Monte Santa Maria, Do Rosal, uh, I guess they did the work. You don't that often see the end of a stone wall like that. That's hard to do with, with uh, just rubble stone. You see, you know, corners or uh, the corners like that one, but when a wall just comes to an end, a broken stone like this one gives some gives you a little better idea of what this is, what kind of stone it is. I'm not ready to see it. You see this? So it hasn't been weathered yet. The highest mill is set at a little bit of an angle to receive the water from the dis. And the rest of them are pretty much parallel. Each one has a little window, and the window's right over, right where you need to see the stone, how the grain is. Now the water has been carried by a bis along the slope to where there's a drop again. That's what's going on. And here's where the drop is, and now the mills continue. Just the, the right amount of drop to give uh, to turn a wheel. There's more water below, but it doesn't have that drop. Now from out of that, <laughs> I'm laughing because our, our new friend is enjoying the cold water. From out of this uh, mill, the water runs across, and this is what in uh, Swiss French is called a prise d'eau, uh, and the water goes out of this that way to supply more mills. I'm sure we'll see them. This situation is a little bit more like Chaussé has a, a lot of water if he wants it. So these would be, would have been bigger mills, the, the ones that are in ruins here. This is so much like the situation at Chaussé's, which you'll see in a different uh, video. I changed my mind about that. Uh, abyss, I call it abyss, I think it's going uphill. I think that is a road that uh, was used to bring the, the grain to be milled and take the flour away. And because that's exactly the situation at Chaussée's mill. There's a narrow road that did that. And, and now, and this mill, these mills are in ruins. At Chaussée's mill, there's a, there's a private one that's in ruins, but below it, there's also a, a public one that I didn't look at the last time I was here. Uh, I wonder, these, these mills, maybe these mills up on the mountain were public, and, and this one private. Well, see, this will be very useful, though, when we go to document Chaussée's mill. I could say that with this, this water isn't doing any work, but it's providing joy. And uh, I said that uh, it's providing me with joy. And uh, I had said that there would be three parts subject to my documentary, spirit, work, and joy. Falling water can do that.
<clears throat> now there's a new source of water. And there's a mill you can see in the distance. You can see the bis that's bringing the water and dropping it here. These mills are bigger because we're further down. There's e that even looks like a little bit of a house beside that. And there, when it drops out of that mill, it goes on to that mill. Well, this is something different. There's a house with this mill. And I'm going to, even though we've seen a lot of mills, I'm going to look at this because this is very similar to what Chausse has. And I've been mentioning Chausse. Now, these don't share a common wall. In his case, the house does share a common wall with the mill, and there's a bake oven. But his is in ruins, uh, waiting to be restored. So if you like what you see, keep watching these videos. It's going to be our next stop. I guess it's locked. It should be locked. Um, our next stop, really, is going to, in about two days, is going to be at Chaussee's Mill. All this logging that's been done. Now, there, there is laid stone or something. Uh, maybe that was a mill. Uh, all this logging that's been done. You might think, oh, what a shame, but actually, I think that this is probably one of the steps in the restoration of this because when the mills were here, it would have been open. These trees would not, big trees would not have been around these mills. Now the, here's the prise d'eau, and the water when it's finished at that mill, goes on down to another mill with a house, which we'll look at. Yes, I'm sure that this logging is part of the restoration process. This is the head race to that next mill. And there comes a road down, so similar to, this, to what Chaussee has. Here's the head race. The wall of the road has failed a little bit. Here's the turnout. Well, yeah, here, here's the turnout. Oh, okay, the, the water must have gone under that stone uh, when they were using the mill. And then there's a trash rack. That might be a supply for the house or, or something else. A set of stones, steps to go into the house. I wonder if I can get in there. Well, I'm going to try. I hope uh, Galicia doesn't have wild animals that are about to jump out of the bamboo. This is bamboo. There was some bamboo at, at Chaussee's mill. Okay, and there's the, there's the chimney. Now, Chaussee's house has, has a, the, the remains of a uh, bake oven. Uh, I don't know if if there's a bake oven here, of course it would fit. There's the kitchen. Yeah, that's a little different. That's probably, I saw the supply probably for this, which would be for domestic water. And uh, I hardly dare call this a house. Oh, look at that. Look at the way they've... Oh, that's... I don't think that could be original. I don't think. Uh, I don't know. But where, not a house maybe, but where the mill owner may have lived. And from that mill, I'm not, just not sure since there was no water in that mill, I'm not positive how this one's getting this water, where that prise d'eau is that gets it. There's the turnout. There's the trash rack. And when that water has been used, there's the bis to go on to the next mill. There's the next mill with a very nice German lady sitting there, tired, my driver, my photographer, filmmaker. Now this turnout has what's called a flashboard. Uh, and the trash rack, and you know they're all the same now. I mean, uh, you could take a pattern. No 
dug out, there's, sure enough, down there's a, a bis running to the next one. And that little white car down there is ours for the time being. Now this bis is following the contour. You can see it's, this is more of a true bis. Well, they're all true bises, but this is bending because it's keeping its height. And there's the, probably the final mill that we're going to see, not counting the one we started with. And here's something I'm really just making up, but I'm, I'm going to say that that groove right there was made by wheels. Yeah, here it comes like that, going up to these mills. If this was the original road, that happens sometimes. We're right in the stone, you'll get the pattern. I bet that is the case. And here's that last mill, and below it, a waterworks. So of course the water is valuable, it was valuable, always will be valuable. Here's the first evidence, there's the turnout, here's the first evidence, trash wreck, of a mill that actually has a tank for storage, which is interesting. Yeah. Notice all the rest of them, 57 mills, just no, no dams, no dams really. No ponds, no mill ponds. I'd like to know what's inside this one. I'd also like to know why that's round. You can hear that this mill's running. Something's running. I don't know if you'll be able to see through that window or not. Probably not. Give it a shot. There's that waterworks I mentioned, and if you start back down the road, you come to a place to have a beer. Mios du Falon, uh, Mills of the Falon. We're going to go in there.